something I'm going to drop to you that I've never heard anyone else speak about and we have done a lot of work on. That is, there are three different algorithms you are fighting when ranking a Google business profile. Yes, I said that correctly. Don't worry, I bring receipts. I'm going to show you why we've been so successful in isolating and targeting these algorithms differently and is the premise of the new course the trifecta method which we've been getting some amazing feedback turning them red grids green baby but enough of that let's jump into it technically there's six because you've got a difference between desktop and mobile but i'm just i'm not even gonna go there being literally no one's really ever spoken about this and it's a completely new category uh, i had to make up a word so we had to use some brockisms and our third algorithm is the local google local services algorithm so just bear with me and roll with me uh i promise you there's a lot there's a lot of sophisticated data and research behind it don't get me wrong there is some data sharing between the three you can tell by the way they update and there's always a delay which i'm assuming is how google's processing that data stream all right now devil's in the details here we go google search so if you were to look inside the dashboard on the back end of your google business profile that is going to be someone actually searching google and your listing pop up in the three pack or they've clicked the more places google maps completely completely different all right when i consult people and they see all these high numbers in google maps and like well why am i not getting any calls i'm getting 75,000 impressions in Google Maps. Google Maps could be someone searching on Google Maps for your listing. Probably not because nobody goes to Google Maps to search for a plumber or a dentist or, or whatever. What is going on is your pins popped up and that is counting as an impression. So that could be someone driving by, right? And using Google Maps as a driving directions tool. Or that could be someone doing some research on Google Maps and your pin popping up. That's an impression. So. In my humble opinion, Google Maps is pretty much worthless and we don't even really look at them whatsoever when we're counting our data. Local service, this is the category where we had the Brockism that I had to make up. Basically, it's Google Search 2.0, but if you have a Google business listing with a category that is available for local service ads, about 90% of the time, some categories don't have them, but I suspect that the local service ads are coming soon to those categories. So, and I made a note in here, it actually, the software running on the back end looks just like local service ads do when you click them and they just kind of embed them inside of the Google My Business now, which makes sense if that's the inventory of Google ads that Google wants to push and monetize. And right, I'm going to go over to some actual real world example. Okay. So did you know we're going to go over these are Google search results. So someone just typed in ATV Repair Phoenix and this is what's popped up. Okay. Now we've clicked more places down here below and we've got the map that pops up. If you look inside of the URL, we've got google.com forward slash search and then blah, 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 right? So basically this is what is going to count as a search impression inside of your Google dashboard. This is the gold. This is what you want. This is people with high consumer intent. Next, we've got Google map results. And once again, if you look inside of the URL, we've got google.com forward slash maps. You're in that subdirectory uh, or subfolder on the url on the domain itself right so it's living in a completely different place on desktop this is what it's going to look like next we've got the map app the google maps app baby looking like that you know obviously there's no url it's inside of the map but you know we're not going to do no ninja stuff to get that but take my word for it it's on the maps platform all right lastly is what i call the local service results and if you look at that you've got the subdirectory local service it looks exactly, the software running this looks exactly like the local service uh, ads do. If you were to go into Google search and click one of the Google guarantee and or Google local service ads, this is what it's going to look like. And I made a note down here that this has been the most difficult to predict the ranking. Not so much that it, it there are different factors, but there's a delay there and it's just, it's really weird timing and it just kind of, it bugs me out. But if you are in one of these categories, a little bit words of encouragement, keep your head down because you will always prevail, uh, but there might be a little bit of delay on this particular category. All right, and why does this matter? It matters because our goal, our jobs as SEOs is to generate traffic and conversions and for these people that we're working for or our clients are not getting making more money with us, we're not as valuable. So like I always preach, you should have conversions in the back of your mind. 
when you are doing SEO, it doesn't matter if you send 4 million people to their website or their GMB listing, if they're not converting or calling, you're pretty much all for not, right? So this is an insight of a new listing that we recently optimized for Google search only. Like I said, we didn't really care about map. The 5,000 impressions, seven, only 7% 7 came from map. So just a handful, I mean, just a little over 300 impressions, um, which means 73% all came from search. If you look at the uh, analytics breakdown, that is pretty phenomenal in my opinion. Now, this is a company that we started to work with uh, on a rev share deal, and they were getting one to three leads per month on their Google My Business listing. It was not ranking at all whatsoever. Um, in less than 60 days, we're up to about five leads per day. Uh, we are well beyond past that. We are over 20 leads per day uh, currently. This is from April. Now, how can we isolate the algorithm and target it specifically? And that number, the favorite way is backlinking. Backlinking to the GMB being very specific. What I see most SEOs fail at this and say backlinks don't work. All right, and that is because they're building links to the wrong properties. Okay, if you're building a link to your building backlinks to your CID, you are building backlinks to the Maps algorithm. Hence. You're going to get some map impressions. It's not going to necessarily help you. And the second way that I see most people, uh, second type of backlink, excuse me, that I see most type people get wrong, and that is the local service category. Search links or other search manipulated URLs, uh, but they're in a local service category. And wonder, hey, why does that necessarily not work? Another reason I see most SEOs fail is that they're building backlinks only to one URL. So I don't know why everybody just loves a CID link. Um, I think it's because you used to have to like go inside of the uh, source code and, and find it uh, through the uh, Lucid number, but I don't know. Maybe you felt like it's James Bonds or something, but uh, CID link is, guys, we can we can diversify and get a lot more creative. Uh, manipulated URLs via search can also embed consumer behavior. This is the premise of the course. Um, basically, you're going to be able to do what? took you maybe 15 minutes and three pieces of software and a VA you can now do in three seconds in one person with no software and bad wrong anchor text in not tearing anchor text and interlinking not only to your backlinks uh, but also to inside of your website is absolutely huge I don't know why people want to overlook anchor text um, and interlinking from their website you should definitely do it. If you're not, you're kind of retarded. Now, if you guys are really interested in learning about manipulated URLs and running traffic through them or building backlinks, Unfurl is an awesome resource. It'll actually break it down and tell you what each individual parameter is. Resource and understanding what type of data Google is recording. And it might scare you a little bit because uh, it's normally everything from what link you clicked on to the search query to how big your screen size is. Uh, yes, it is. But... Nevertheless, it's fascinating as well. And if you guys want to check out the trifecta method, aka the new way, this is probably one of the easiest courses to implement in the real world environment. You guys need absolutely zero software, no expensive software at all whatsoever, none, um, none. You don't need any proxies, you don't need 4G proxies, 5G proxies, you don't need to be running anything off your phone, nothing, okay? All these tactics are completely original. We're not using anything from last year, although those are still relevant. I know, yes, unbelievable. Uh, an SEO course, it still works a year later, or over a year later. Um, yeah, but I digress. Course curriculum is pretty amazing, in my opinion. We've got the building backlinks, from every single manipulated URL that you can think of. Um, optimizing your business listing. We've got some pretty cool hacks that basically I've learned from Google from making about 300 phone calls to Google reps and picking their brain and about 10% of the time they would actually slip up and say something useful. Uh, and I share those tactics with you. Um, we show how to get your reviews to publish every single time. And when I say that, please don't make me think you don't need to artificially buy reviews or anything like that. Um, you, this will also, these tactics will also work using something like go high level and using a legitimate review campaign. Okay. Just want to put that out there. That's what obviously we recommend. Uh, warming up Gmail account. So if you've got uh, someone that can't get a review through, uh, pretty awesome way to get in a Gmail account trusted by Google. Obviously, we've got some 
social signals, which are pretty awesome. Google My Business posting. Um, the new way, no one's doing this, I promise you. I've never seen anyone else talk about it. Image hacks that are pretty amazing. Mobile engagement, like I said, you need absolutely no phones. So optimizing the website, build the perfect location page, how to target the geographical city with the website and uh, with your review copy and just all around together. How to blogging for local SEO and uh, leverage your blog. CTR manipulation by Mr. Molino himself. He breaks it down for you. Pretty awesome feedback from his section. We've got the contractors that I use for maps and local SEO. And then we just uploaded this yesterday. Open source intelligent tools uh, that I like for SEO and or marketing. And part two's there. I don't know why this is not uploading. It's awesome feedback as well at the bottom. Check it out. There are SOBs included. They are inside of the Facebook group. Over 57, 58, 59. I mean, we're going to be over 60 videos by the time this is all done. Not that it isn't. It is done. But I'm just bonus videos uh, from people's questions and when they're asking me uh, for clarification. That usually results in a video. This is what I got. I'm not going to keep pitching because that just ain't my style, baby. Peace.